we get a bet down on Happy Bride. I'm riding on the handicap tomorrow. Oh, isn't she the lucky one? You seem to forget my brother's riding in that race, and any time he's riding, you've got him to beat. Oh, yeah? You ought to know. Many's the time he's kicked dust in your face. Yeah, but not tomorrow. In the fifth, I'm betting on Firefly, and the horse Smokey Reynolds is up on. Old oh, Dr. Jockey is the maid. He's my bet. Hi, sis. Oh, hello, Frankie. Hey, listen, could you loan me four eighty-five? I'll pay you back out of my allowance, fifty cents a month. What do you want it for, school? Oh no, I wanted to buy a little cripple coat. Gosh, he's the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. Well, you know what Smokey would do to you if you bought a coat home. Yeah, I know, but oh gosh, sis, I just gotta buy him because they're gonna shoot him. Well, I hate to tell Smokey a story, but if you wanted the money for school, of oh. course. Oh. Well. Oh, I get it. I'll, I'll come in again. Hi, sis. Hello, Frankie. Will you loan me 485? What for? School thing. Oh, all right. Okay. There. There you are, Nan. Four dollars and eighty-five cents. Gee, thanks a million, sis. Just for that, I'll give you half interest in the coal. Well, never mind the half interest. Just you pay me back that four dollars and eighty-five cents. And listen, young man. The next time you stay away from my sugar bowl. Who me? Yes, you. So long, sis. Say, how about a date for tomorrow night, fellas? Four? Four seventy-five, four eighty-five. Okay, Frankie. I hope you win a million dollars in purchase with him. Thanks. Oh, what are you gonna call him? Oh. I know. I'm gonna call him trouble. <laughs> Why trouble? Because I had so much trouble raising that four eighty-five. <laughs> Come on, boy. Oh, Frankie. Huh? Uh, what are you going to feed him? I'm going to feed him hay. Where are you going to get it? Uh, this will buy him a few bales. Oh, but I... Thanks very much. Come on, Trouble. Well, come on. Come on. Trouble, boy. aren't you going with him? Yeah, boy. <laughs> Not a bad name, Trouble. Uh, I don't like that name, Trouble. No, sir. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sam. There, see that? That leg is just as good as new. I told you those mud packs would do it. Yeah, and it only took six months, too. You deserve a lot of credit, Frankie. I didn't think that leg would ever be any good. You want to see a beautiful horse? Yeah. Watch this, Clay. trouble for man of war. <laughs> well, right now I'd trade almost anything for a little powder. You don't need that. Why? I'll tell you how beautiful you are. Please, Mr. Harrison. I thought you'd come out here to see trouble. Well, here I am. Well, here he is. Come on, trouble. Got your stuff. Come on, boy. Good racehorse, too. to keep him away from horses and racing, but he's developed into a pretty good jockey at that. He's got a long ways to go before he can match strides with you, Smokey. <laughs> well, just the same, I wouldn't want to ride against him. Well, if he has his way, you'll be riding against him. The opening day of the meet. <laughs> What's he going to ride? 
I'm not kidding. He wants to enter trouble in the race. Oh, boy. Trouble? Say, Frank, what's this I hear about you riding against me and Dancing Boy? That's right. If Trouble and me can get the $100 entrance fee, we'll be there. <laughs> hey, you're kidding, aren't you, Frankie? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. And you wouldn't say that either if you could see him when I really let him run. Well, I'd give you the $100, Frankie, but I'd just be throwing it away. Oh, thanks. Don't do me any favors. Come on, Trouble. Let's not listen to what these guys say. See you later. <laughs> Maybe he has a chance. Just a loving sister. Well, hello, Tex. Why, the great Curry Magnus. How are you, little guy? Well, I heard you were coming down. Why, the horses wouldn't be able to run unless they could look out and see Tex down on the betting ring. <laughs> you know, Dopey. Hi, guy. Hi. Long shot? Sure. Hello, jockey. Hi, you guy. Why, hello, good looking. Well, I'm back. Yeah, I was a... Hey, you act like you ain't glad to see me. Hey, Phil, how about my coffee? Coming up, Harry. <laughs> Anything else? No, thanks, Phil. No. What's the matter with you, Dopey? I don't feel good. Could you let me have some bacon soda? Sure. Why don't you do something for that stomach of yours, Dopey? Oh, why don't my stomach do something for me? I don't feel good. Hey, I guess you don't like me. If I were as good a guesser as you are, Tex, I'd play the races, too. <laughs> you know, after you get to know me better, you'll like me. They all do. Oh, really? Well, you know something? It's a funny thing. When people first meet you, they don't think they're going to like you. But after they get to know you, they're sure of it. <laughs> Take the edge of that. <laughs> I feel worse now. Are you sure that's bacon soda? Oh, excuse me. My air. That's the polish for the silverware. and the Reynolds family. We all had weak hands. None of us could pull a horse. That guy cost us plenty of money last year. Ain't there some way we could handle him? I could sleep a whole lot easier if there were no Smokey Reynolds on the racetrack. 
All I want you boys to do is to write Smokey into a pocket and keep him there. Terry will have fair spending at the three corner. Terry, you have the top speed. Use it. You ought to win by six lengths. But gee, Tex, are getting a little rough around this race track. Well, that's better than me getting rough, isn't it? You know what I tell you. Well, Frank, bear down. I'm sure going to try. Let's see if we can't get William place. Yeah, but uh, don't take up too much dust in my eyes. I'm still going to try. <laughs> Good luck. Same to you. <laughs> Ten G's. Ten G's? What do you mean you didn't see him? And when I did, it was too late. Well, I never figured he had a chance. Well, it was just a freak anyway. But here's our chance to get that smoky dug guy for good. Our Colonel staff and the committee. Ah, that up, boy. You earned a thousand dollars worth of carrots yesterday. That's pretty good, isn't it? Here, look, I got another one for you. Look at here. What's that? Sit there. Yeah, that up, boy. Yeah. Uh, your name's Frankie, uh, Frankie Reynolds, ain't it? Yeah, that's right. Well, there's $500 in that envelope. Your brother asked me to find you and have you deposited in the bank for him. $500? Well, that's funny. How come he didn't deposit him himself? Oh, don't ask so many questions. Your brother's in a little jam. Now, you better get over to the bank right away. Hustle, right away. Well, listen, mister, I, I don't know you. How do I know it's all right? Say, it'd be different if I asked you to draw 500 out of the bank, wouldn't it? Yeah. That'd be different. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it would. Well, okay. Thanks very much. I'll do it right away. Come on, Trouble. Agnes, that's a very grave... Now then, Reynolds, you know that a jockey is not permitted to bet in a race in which he participates? Yes, sir. You believe that you because you were betting on another horse? I've got a pretty good reason to think so. Did he bet on his own horse? He bet on the winner. His brother. Why, you know, I just got a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Right. Sit down, and if you want to sit down for the rest of the meet. Is that true, Reynolds? Why, no, sir. I never... No, it's not true. My brother never did anything like that in his life. I won that race, and I won it fair and square. What about the $500 you put in the bank for your brother? What $500? What do you mean? Well, that $500... 
Hey, you're really looking for a guy. Here, listen. Then just where did you get the five hundred dollars? Well, listen, they're making a stooge out of me so they could get my brother. Well, that five hundred dollars, a guy gave it him. He was a little guy. I guess he was drunk. He was a sourpuss guy. He said the money belonged to Smokey. Smoking. I guess it's all my fault. I'm just a big dummy. But, but I'll show them they can't turn you and get away with it. Well, are you getting excited, Frankie? We've got to find that sourpuss guy, as you call him. That's one way at least we can prove the smoky was framed. Yeah? Well, I'm starting right now. took care of Smokey, but it looks like Frankie took care of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was like this. I was walking along my, my own business, and suddenly he popped around the corner. He threw a left mitt, and yeah, I... And you led with your right eye. <laughs> One, two, three. He's out and don't know Four. Ah, oh, you guys, give me a Shut up, you guys. I can't hear. Now, listen. I want you to spread this over the country so we won't ruin the odds. And when I tell you that Bubbling Oak is going to win the Derby, you ought to know he's going to win it. Yes, I'll guarantee it. Okay, kid. What, what's up, Toby? Who's that? Ain't it? Say, listen, Tex. <laughs> Sanford is asking a lot of questions about a guy that gave the kid the dough. Well, as long as you don't find it out, what good is it going to do him? Nobody knows legs around here. All we got to do is keep him under cover, that's all. Listen, the only way to keep him under cover is to keep him under whiskey. And by the way, I got another beef out of him. What does he want now? Just a little thing called dough. Rody dough, dough, dough. That guy can drink it faster than you can bring it to him. Here, tell him this. But this is where I get off. He's going to squawk. It's not enough. Hey, you know what disgusts me? What? A guy swilling booze all the time. <laughs> See you later. <coughs> I'll send you my entry blanks for the next few days. Okay. Clay, now listen, you know Trouble can't win that race in his stall. And that's where he's going to be unless you enter him. You know darn well he can beat Dancing Boy. I guess there's no denying that. Well, look, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you'll enter him under your colors, I'll split the first with you and Sis. Oh, that's nice of you, Frankie, but... And besides, if trouble wins against the greatest horses in the country, you'll know that Smokey didn't frame that race. Sure. That's right. And it'll be a point in Smokey's favor. Even if we don't find that fellow that gave you the money. Well, will you do it? By Harrison Stables. Yes? Yes, what? We'll be right over. What's the matter? Something's happened to Smokey, kid. Oh, come on. Where is he? I don't know. An accident sometimes. Oh. Come on, honey. But why'd you do it, Smokey? You shouldn't have taken it so hard. Everything's going to be all right. You have a lot to live for, Tommy. Racing isn't everything. It is for me. There's every reason for you to pull through. If you'll fight. Hey, you know where I was today? I just got back from Colonel Stanford's office. And, well, you know what? They're going to reinstate you. Yeah, honest they are, Smokey. And, oh, gosh, you'd have laughed if you, if you could have seen them all bowing down, trying to apologize for, for the mistake the committee made. <laughs> See, now, all you have to do is get well and... Maybe it'll be in time for the Derby. Never could tell a good lie, Frank. Where's Tex? He ain't in. 
in, Leg. Hey, what's the idea of keeping my head in now without any liquor, huh? What, no liquor? No liquor, and that guy's going to hear from me. But wait, sit down and wait for me. Back soon. Say, hey, I'm going out and get drunk, then I'll come back and I'll throw this joint up for grabs. Here, take a swig of this. This is good for what ails you. I know what it ails me, and I'm going out and get something for it. Wait a minute. He wants to see you. Wait, Leg. What'll I tell Tex? You can tell Tex. Say, I've got a ginger ale. Have you any ginger ale or am I alone in this joint? Yeah. Yeah, sure, we've got ginger ale. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. Bring it on. Bring it on. Hey, sis. That's the guy. That's the guy that gave me the money. You know, sourpuss. Look, whatever you do, keep him here. Don't let him get away. I'm going after Clay. I'll be right back. Keep him here? Who do you think I am, the Wonder Girl? How? Well, I don't know how, sis, but give him his ginger ale. Smile. Turn on the personality. I'll be right back. Keep him here now. Well, hurry. I will. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Hello. Hello. Sit down, will you, Kylie? All right. No, it can't be. Yeah, it is. Say, are you as pretty as you look, or am I drunk? Who said I was drunk? You're just pretty, that's all. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. Have a little drink. Well, I... Uh... Oh, I know. You want it in a glass, hmm? Yes, I see it in a glass. In a glass, you so have it. I'll fix you up for just a minute. <sighs> There you are. Here's the go. Bottoms up and down the hatch. Down the hatch. Good. But why didn't you hold him, Dopey? I tried to, but I couldn't. He said he was only going out to get drunk. And the funny thing is, he couldn't have gotten any drunker. Just what did he say? All he said was, you can tell Tex. All right, you guys, go and pick him up. Pick up a couple of the boys and don't come back without it. Okay, my right, Tex. This guy's legs is dynamite. That's all the ring. Do you know, I'm sick and tired of everything. You are? Say, Gailey, let's you and I get married, huh? That's a good idea. You know, you gotta stick close to me, because I promise. You know, I have to get married. Why? Well, I promised my girl, and I would take yes for an answer. I don't blame you. This is all, Frankie. Sure, I'd know that sour puss any place. I remember you. I gave you some money. Five hundred dollars I gave him. Think of it. Five hundred dollars I gave him, and he called me sour puss. Come on, you. Confession's nine tenths of the law. I'm taking you over to Colonel Stanford's office right away. Come on. Get in, like it. Oh, oh, sour puss. That's gratitude. Gee, you were great, sis. Great. You said it. And any time you want anything done right, just call on me. An ice pack and out the will fix that. See you later. The things I've done for flag and country. You shouldn't have done that to me. She was a nice little girl. Come on, take me back. Not a chance. Oh. Well, if you won't take me back, take me on up there. I have a friend up there. Sure, we'll take you up there. Yeah, where does he live? Oh, it's no he, it's a she. Wait, wait a minute. 
Hey, there's my pal Dopey. Wait, wait a minute. Get going. Oh, wait a minute. Stop it. Down. Quiet. There's legs now. Let's go get him. Come on, step on us. They're following us. Got a lot of that good stuff waiting for you. Is he okay? Okay. All right, boy, you got a customer with a gun. Got plenty of it, too. but it still doesn't alter the situation. Uh, I know, Colonel, but gosh, if we could only give Smokey something to fight for. Oh, he just doesn't seem to want to live. It's too bad, my boy, but... Listen, uh, Colonel, will you do me a big favor? If I can, certainly. Well, now, look, I was at the hospital this afternoon, and, well, I lied to Smokey. I told him he was reinstated. I thought he'd believe me, but, well, he didn't. Now, you're a better liar than I am, and... Well, well, I mean that if you went to the hospital and told him, may maybe they'd give him something to fight for and maybe he'd get well. Well, if you think I'm that good a liar, we'll go. Well, come on. Colonel Stanford must have made a good job of it. The doctor said there's a great improvement today. Yes, I know. I was by there a little while ago. How did trouble work out today? Great. You know, a little more work with him and I think we've got a derby winner. Honest? You know what that means, don't you? We can buy that little, little white house in the valley and get married. Come on, come on. How about some service? Coming up. Don't forget to eat all your spinach. I'll be right back. Hmm. Listen, lady. Pretty tough to pay 50 cents for a steak that's this tough. Ah, but if you pay five, it's tougher, if you get what I mean. All right. Give me some ketchup. I'll drown it in ketchup. Brown, it is right. Say, do you know that costs 25 cents a bottle? Well, if it's good ketchup, it's worth it. That's how I know all about men. <laughs> Say, I said all of that spinach. <laughs> That's what I love about you. Right. We always have it your way about things. That's the mother instinct in me. <laughs> Listen, darling. All joking aside. Coming up. How's about some bread? Oh. Do I have to send a wire to my senator to get some bread? When I eat bread, I eat bread. Back to two slices. <laughs>
singing? Mm-hmm. That's you. What are you thinking about? About the big race? You would. Moonlight, soft music, romance in the air, and you're thinking about horses. <laughs> Anybody could do that to Chubb. <laughs> he was such a cute little guy with his long, skinny legs. try to do to you? Come on, tell Papa, what'd they try to do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what's trouble doing in Dancing Boy's stall? Uh, I don't know, Mr. Harrison. Uh, I guess I just put the wrong horse in the wrong stall. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't, Sam. You done put the right horse in the right stall. <laughs> what are you doing, stupid? Well, I'm playing handy. Handy? Yeah, this is the five twin triplets, the shower. Uh, what about the thumb? Oh, oh, that's one of them looking for a cake of soap. Uh, 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 uh. You nitwit. You would have to pick the wrong horse, wouldn't you? What are you blaming me for? You know they both look alike. How could I tell? Oh, uh, that's all right. We can go get the right one. Yeah. And get filled full of lead. And cops guarding him like a visiting queen. You play the queen and I'll play the ace. Ah, dry up your lungs. 
Four days before the race, and I stand to lose my bankroll. And that mug eating like a guy going to be hung. Well, what do you want me to do? Stop eating? No, start thinking. What is there to think about? It takes a horse and a jockey to win a race, don't it? Hey, just what do you mean? We try to get the horse, and we missed out. So? Don't be your genius! Hey, I got an idea. Come on, fellas, get your things on. Only cars, only all cars. Be on the lookout for a black packet sedan. G1-5334. Frankie Reynolds kidnapped. Hey, Pay, let's load up this bridge for Major Reynolds. Have all motorcycle cops watch all cars leaving the city. Have all radio cars on the alert. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't I meet you somewhere before? Was it Miami? Or was it uh, Jamaica? Or was it Tamperan? Yeah, sure. Was it all those places at once? Sour puss. Hey, somebody called me that before. Hey, where did that guy get the Brannigan? Wipe my rubbing alcohol. He's only a kid. Well, that's his tough luck. Come on, Tex, what do you say? I told you to leave me alone. I'm tired of you. Get away. Now, look, Tex. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you let me go, see, I won't squeal. I won't say a word. Honest, I won't. Please, I just got to be in that race. You better go over and collect that dough and meet me over at the airport after the race. Tex, listen. 
I've been waiting two years for this cab. It means everything in the world to I me. Mean, I gotta ride my horse. I told you to get away from here. I'm in the nose. Take care of that.
What happened? Nothing. All the boys seem afraid to ride trouble. Oh, that's strange. No, it isn't. Not if you know Tex O'Donnell. Listen, I've got to try two more boys. All right, get him up, you mugs. Come on, get over there. You too. Hey, look. My name is Frankie Rebel. I've got to get to the racetrack right away. Hey, Danny. This kid's been shot. Call an ambulance right away. I don't want an ambulance. I've got to get that racetrack right now. Yeah, Come sure, on. Sure, kid. Just take it easy now. But you don't understand. Nobody else killed but me. I've got to get there. All right. Come on, right. help me up. Just take it easy. <laughs> O'Donnell, if anything has happened to Frankie, this town's not going to be big enough for both of us. You got me wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. Looks as though you won one bet. But I'm not going to run trouble. But remember this. If anything has happened to that kid... Another bulletin about Frankie Reynolds. He is still missing. The entire police force are combing the country for... Well, they're starting the third race, Sam. Uh, I guess he wouldn't have won anyway. Oh, we're not too sure about that always, trouble. Uh, uh, hold still now. Uh, this blamed old horse has been on the seat ever since Frankie went away. Uh, I guess he's about to fret himself to death if, if Frankie don't come back soon. You and bubbling over. It's in the bag. I don't want to. I tell you, I got to get to the races. Look, I'm all right. You'll be all right. You got to go. But listen, I want to. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, isn't that that Reynolds kid? How do you suppose he got away? I don't know. I'm going to hang around here and find out. Come on, let's go. Your brother, he's riding. 
It's a good horse and a good rider that can hold this pace. This what can't you to break your riddle? She's in the rough. Amy! Keep on racing. You know, you'll have to be raising some horseplay. Here. Well, you'd better take your share out of this. You're going to have to raise, uh... We're going to raise, uh... Play? Darling. <laughs> 